know I'm gonna be prepping for the new year and you're coming along with me. I'm gonna be doing things like organizing my Pinterest boards, making a vision board, cleaning out my stuff, making some healthy food. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna be telling you what my goals are for the year. Here's the fam. Naz has just interrupted my game to say, can you get a shot of my tennis fit? Excuse the heavy breathing. I'm gonna see if I can do like a pov. I've ditched a mum to film this for you, so you better enjoy it. Will she beat them? Let's finish our pickleball session. Oh, you could win the whole NPL, National Pickleball <laughs> League. Look at the signs. $100,000 prize oh, money. I feel like if you believe in yourself, <laughs> anything can happen. Just believe. <laughs> I go to the cooking house quite often. There's a guy in the front, and for a very long time, I thought there was beetles. I find their nest, it's in a tree, and they're not beetles, they are wasps. And then I go closer and they just start coming at me. It was the scariest situation I've ever been in my whole life. I thought we should get an exterminator. Papa's like, him and buy spray, it's gonna like, where are they? <laughs> You're gonna get them now. So we're back at home, I'm gonna go and get ready and talk. I've actually kind of updated like, my makeup because I bought like a lot of new products. This is a foundation, but it's basically a tint. It like, just makes your base look like, smoother i really like this if you're looking for like a nothing foundation get this it's great i don't know why after i put literally anything on my face my face goes so red people will be like um I have to do that. I, i'm not it's like these are products that like literally don't hurt me they just make me red so anyway my updated makeup routine is although i'm trying to wear less makeup it sounds so bad but i am doing like a skin tint. I have like interesting eye bags. Like they're invisible if I move my head's up, but if I've got use, they're bad. I'm usually you do concealer, but I'm not doing it anymore. Roll it. I did wash my hair, although I got a little bit sweaty. I had like washed it yesterday, so I just can't be bothered. I don't know if that's like disgusting. Maybe I shouldn't be telling you that. I really want to try this sort of like lip style, like when they have like the brown. But I don't know if I'd suit it. I feel like I would, but I've never tried it, so like I'm not really sure. Don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with buying drugstore brands, but me and Sarah have this like big controversial thing because she totally believes in them. And I like, I really like Dior and stuff like that. I feel like it's just gotta be a fact that it works better. The reason they're more expensive is like with Dior, like you're probably buying it for the actual brand. Although I feel like their products are like so good, but I feel like I do kind of buy it for the brand. I still think it's really good. If you're like pale like me, I feel like this blush will, like you can't live without it because I have like a little bit of redness and I feel like it almost like cancels out my redness and makes it look like nice pale and pink. I got the wrong shade of highlighter. I wanted like the wider one, but they gave me like the normal one. I don't know. It was kind of confusing because like I was talking about both, so they just gave me the wrong one, but that's okay. They're really close in shade, so. I don't know why they look so crusty. I don't really get why people like blue mascaras. Like, you know, like the moonlight ones, like when they do like a little bit of blue in them. Oh, when you go to get your lashes tinted and they're like, do you want them blue? And I'm like, um. I've been really considering getting a new haircut. You know, like the fringe that goes, wispy fringe thing. So I'm all ready for the new year. Disgusting pedicure that is half coming off, but I'm not gonna pay the money to get it off. Duh. Um, and then I got my, Makeup in here. So I'm cooking breakfast and I don't know what type of breakfast I'm gonna cook, so let's Google it. Also, later in the video, I'm gonna be like organizing all my Pinterest boards with you, which I feel like is like really fun. I feel like for the new year, I reckon you should like get one of your friends and like organize your Pinterest boards together because that'd be so fun. Obviously, I'm gonna look at Pinterest for breakfast recipes. These are all my Pinterest boards. Um, I have a lot, too much to be fair. Some of them have literally 200 pins, which is scary. My nails one, I'd never get my nails done, but I had 200 pins in it. Yeah. Lately, it looks like I really want to get bow nails. When I'm meant to be looking at this though, I'm meant to look at the food one, because I have one for like, things I want to cook. You should make this cake. I really want to make this pasta. I'm definitely going to make it soon, but not today. But it looks so good. Mmm, that makes me feel happy. And also look how good this looks. This strawberry sorbet. I'm just gonna look up like an easy breakfast. I could make pancakes. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Dude, I swear if you're like a good crocheter, you have to make this. It's crocheted pasta. I actually did crochet a dress for my cats. I have a cat. For my 
sibling's cat, Teddy. It's so cute. Always think this is such a cute idea. I'm actually just gonna do pancake mix. I don't even know if I can make a pancake without burning it. Okay, I'm on the way to the shops. I'm just gonna get like pancake mix and then I'm making these like supposedly like alternative sour lollies which are just made out of grapes and like sugar and lime and lemon. So I'm actually really excited to see how those turn out. And then pancakes, can I cook a pancake? I think my goal for this like year is I wanna like cook a bit more. I really like cooking, I'm just not very good at it. I'm going to Coles and I'm just gonna grab like a couple of ingredients. So I got the pancake mix. I'm gonna make buttermilk ones. Let's see what I need. <laughs> The last thing I'm gonna get is ice cream. I'm gonna get like a healthy one from Halo Tops, but like you need ice cream on pancakes, like duh. I'm gonna get this ice cream with it. All done shopping. So I'm all done shopping and I'm gonna go to the cooking house because I'm too messy to cook in the real house. And I'm actually really scared. Supposedly there's like wasps there and I'm really scared of wasps and I've gotta like unlock the door and everything. Oh my God, I see the wasp. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, I made it. What I'm really bad at with cooking is just following the instructions, like, say, oops, you're dead. I don't feel like I'm a bad cook, but I'm bad at following instructions, because like, this like says like to put it up to like a certain level of water, and I just want to do less, and it also says to add water, not milk, and I just want to add milk. Today I'm determined to actually do what I meant to. How much is that? I did something wrong. I was meant to freeze some things first. Oh, now I'm gonna freeze them now. I'm actually so confused. This is so tricky. So what I'm gonna do, it's like I know what I'm doing. I'm gonna wash my strawberries. And then you need to dry your strawberries because they are like your children. If you bought some, you gotta dry them, I guess. I've always wanted to get a strawberry and pick out every seed with tweezers. That'd be really fun. Also, I have a question. What did you do for your summer holidays? I want to hear about it. Because we just kind of chilled at home. And then we went to Sydney for a couple days, which was really fun. I'm really nervous. I've never made pancakes before. I know, like, in Matilda, she could make pancakes when she was, like, two, probably. But... Okay. Me and Biggie are currently watching Diaries together, which I'm really enjoying. I've already watched it, but I'm re-watching it, so then we can watch the new episodes together. Pancake is on. It's probably gonna burn, so I need to get my egg flipper thing. Ah, it's probably burning. It's bubbly. It's bubbly. Why is it bubbly? Oh my gosh! I'm gonna have a little peeky. Oh my god! I made a pancake. Well, I haven't made it yet. It's not done. I'm so proud of myself. I made a pancake. Dopamine is like up here, it's like so high. I can't believe I made a pancake. Like, mm. I think I made my first pancake. It doesn't look crazy. It doesn't look amazing, but it looks incredible. Okay, so the inside's like a little uncooked. Oh, I love uncooked pancakes. Not in a weird way. Dude, that is so good. See that? Kind of just looks the same as the other one. I flipped it. I made two pancakes. Have a taste. So that pancake's pretty bad. It's pretty raw. Let's try this pancake. Please be good, it looks so cooked. It's raw, but it's good. I really thought I outdid myself, but clearly not, and I just don't want to eat the rest. It's all clean. Okay, the lighting is weird, but now I'm going to run past those vicious wasp again, and I'm really, really scared, so thinkies crossed. Oh my god, I'm really scared actually. Oh my god, I'm so scared. <laughs> a while ago I saved up 500 bucks for like bed sheets and I was originally gonna save them for Bondi, but the time's changed. And I'm going to be unboxing them and using them in my room. And they're so cute. Oh, they're so cute. I like I'm currently in my pink stage, so I'm like so excited for these. Look at them. I don't really wear pink stuff though. What is this? What? There's two. Oh, this is like the pillow. That's actually a big pillowcase. And then here is, there's three things. Oh, this is like the scrunchy thing that you put like around the mattress. 
And then here's the thing for my blanket. Now I'm confused what's in here. Oh my god, that's so silly. We bought extra things, I think. This is... What is this? Hey, it looks like I got two blankets, but I don't remember getting two blankets. I guess I'll use the pillow, though. Did we think we were getting the pillow and then we got all that? Oh my gosh. This is so bad. Okay, it's cute, though. I'm going to try and forget that I probably just wait... <coughs> More than I needed to. This is probably my favorite thing. It's the pillow. <laughs> Look at your pillow. It's so cute. This is like seriously the biggest pillow ever. He's like half my body in comparison. And that's not the cutest thing. You need to see this. What is in this pink bag is definitely my favorite thing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I don't know what bedroom I should put this in because I like. Oddly enough, I have two because I sleep on a mattress near with the babies at the moment. But I want to sleep back in there. I actually have a bed in there, so. Oh my god. Oh! I'm so excited. Look at like how well everything goes together, just like with it plopped on the floor. I'm gonna be sad to get rid of that bean bag, but I'm just gonna give it to Disco and Charm because they'll really like it. If you have art on your Pinterest for you page, you've definitely seen this picture before of the bunny combing her hair and I like painted it and it is by far my favorite painting it looks so professional so it's gonna go up here with like my little hanger oh that's so cute it's time to put the first thing up and it's these oh wrong way these sheets they're really cute and they just feel so soft and the mum reckons that this is all the wrong size but I've I'm not gonna believe that because she ordered it. So I know that people are gonna say this is like babyish or whatever, but I don't care because this is just oh so cute. And if I was a baby, I'd pick this too. Look at it! Put the blanket out of there. Hopefully, Sabe doesn't notice anytime soon. And yeah, <laughs> now let's put my blanket in it because it's so cute. My blanket. This is a flat sheet, so I'm gonna put this under the mattress. Hey, that is so cute. And let's see if I can make this blanket. I get so anxious whenever I make blankets, like, like put the thing in them. I don't know if that makes any sense, but. but I'm folding that because I feel like it's more like vintage. <laughs> oh my, oh my God, it's not even focused. Come on, focus, focus. Look at how stunning that is. Here's option one for the pillows. I feel like it's really cute, but is it too simple? Option two, I'm so sweaty because I don't know why it's so hot and like I've been doing so much. But option two is like this. I just feel like it might be a little too much. I added an extra pillow. There's one more option after this one, but this is option three. I don't know. Let's try option four. I feel like this one is so cute, but it looks kind of sad just because it's like you know, we, we want to use the big pillar because it was like too much money to not use it. This option is whack. I think I'm going to go for the first option, but comment like what, what, what blah, blah, blah. Comment which one was your favorite because I want to know. I ended up going with this style of like pillows, but now I need to clean up and then we're going to add the decorations. I quickly wheeled my thing. Thing. No, uh, bedside table, bedside table, I knew it. Yeah, and it looks so cute. And I put like a little white cushion in it to like spice it up. I finished my bedroom. Look at how cute it is. And it's got a painting up there. There's a little bag here, my sleeping mask. There's a bow there and then there's all the sheets. I'm gonna start off by making my vision board and I'm like while I do it, I'll tell you my goals. So. One of the things, I don't think many people would guess this about me, but I really want to get into ballet. Like, I really, really want to start doing it. And obviously, like, as well as, like, a couple of other sports. I don't know, I really want to start it, and I'm, I don't know how I'm going to. Like, I know that it's probably, like, hard to do ballet, but I'm willing to do it. I don't think I would do it, like, really professionally, you know, and, like, People spend their like whole life dedicated. I'm not like gonna do it to that level. If you live in Newcastle and there's like a place like I, for my, people my age to start out, please let me know. This one isn't really like a big goal of mine. It's more just like I'm manifesting it, like you know, a vision board. But I want to develop like a good taste of style. I really want good style. And this is my like style pictures. Kind of like pink, I guess, style, but I don't want everything to be pink. Kind of like that. 
Time for my New Year's goals. So what I really want to do, one of the things was I wanted to be more mature in messages. Like I don't, I feel like I always like message, I don't want to feel like I'm gonna message my family chat something dumb and then I'm accidentally gonna send it to one of my friends and they're gonna think I'm crazy. So I want to be more mature in there. I just want to be more mature in like life of general. I feel like I have like not proper anger issues. I'm not gonna go and punch someone, but I feel like I could, I should keep my cool a bit better. Um, I want to earn trust just so I have like a better relationship with my parents. We get, obviously it's not like I've got like a bad relationship with them or anything, but like I feel like it could be so much better if I was a bit more trustworthy. So I want to stop lying and I want to like not be sneaky. I feel like I'm getting better at that. I don't feel like I lie as much anymore. Um, I want to stand up straight. I really, really struggle with my posture. Like I'm like, I always just like sit like this or like stand like this. And I want to like start standing and sitting like this. Not sitting, okay, sitting. I can't, I'm just gonna slash when I sit. But like when I stand, I want to like actually stand up straight. It just makes you look so much better and more confident. And I feel like I am confident, but like I just, I don't know. I feel like I should walk like that. I want to get like a my dream strong and healthy body. Like I, I used to do exercise over there and like eat healthy um, a couple months ago. And then I just stopped for a while and I kind of felt really sad about myself. So it's nothing to do with like how I look or anything. I just feel like it makes me a happier person. This is like a fun goal. I want to change my hair. Like I want to make it fun and like do something with it. Cause I feel like that's cool. Another thing, I forgot to write this one down. I'll definitely write it down after this. I want to keep up with my Instagram. I want to start posting on there more and like being more active. I had a stage where I was doing that, but I stopped. I love doing it. So like, I don't know why I forget. And I want to start journaling more, but in my journal, I've got like this little thing and I've got like all future letters to me, which is really cute. And then I've got my about me. It's a bit messy, ignore that. Um, like a love list, my love, family, friends, my pets, slurpees, crocheting, shopping, Dior, mining heist, parties, and YouTube. Well, that's the vision board. I'll add things throughout the year. And yeah. Last goal is I want to be clean. I want to be organized. I'm sick of like cleaning my wardrobe out and like a week later it's like a bomb and I have to clean it out again. I want to keep things organized because I just feel so much more like easy, it's life so much more easier when I'm organized. Like, a, and I just want to say thank you for spend, like spending your time watching this video. Like, I know it like takes time and like stuff like that. So, it really does mean a lot to me. It just makes me so happy that people watch my videos. Anyway, catch me afterwards.